What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over all the best XP methods in MLB The Show 22 to help you complete the new all-star program, get unlimited stubs, and a lot of XP super, super fast. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, drop a thumbs up on the video, punch the algorithm in the face. Let's get into the breakdown. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. Okay, so the first and easiest method is going to be using mini seasons to your advantage. Okay, so with the mini seasons, whether you score 10 runs in the first inning or you score 10 runs throughout the game is going to always give you between 6,000 and 8,000 XP. You're going to do this over and over between 10 and 12 minutes. Now, if you are on PS5, Xbox Series S or Xbox Series X, make sure that you are using PXP on Mars if you want to, but the best stadium hands down is Blank Canvas 2 super short wall so it's easier for line drives and pop-ups to get over if you are on old gen if you are on ps4 xbox one you're going to want to use laughing mountain you're going to want to use coors field which is the colorado rockies those fields have max elevation it's going to take a little more patience to get the right pitches but you can still complete it over and over and over now what i mean by that is as you can see i am in a game right now i have seven runs okay with no outs so all i want to do is get the 10 runs and then i'm going to exit out of the game instantly okay so we're going to come right here we're going to wait for the pitch that we want down the middle whether it's low or is high or is right down the gut those are the pitches that you want boom you're gonna let the ball get to you like it's hitting the screen and you're gonna swing for an easy, easy home run. Okay, so we only need two more runs now. So make sure that you are using your PCI anchor. It's gonna all come down to what your preference is on as far as how you want your thing set up. So we're gonna come right here, he throws it low. We're gonna be patient. Where this dot is down here in this area is gonna be your max power area. So you want pitches that look like that Boom, there's a two run home run that gives us 10 runs or more. It's gonna give us 11 runs. Now, the mission is complete. Once you get to that, you don't have to wait. Once you get that runner across the base, go to confirm, exit. You're gonna get all your stubs, which is between 1500 stubs, 1800 stubs per game, and then you're gonna get your XP. Always make sure that you are the home team so you can get that last at bat also. I got 7,000 XP for that one two inning game. 7,000 XP. I think double XP is going on right now, so it would be closer to about 3,500, 4,000 XP. Over and over and over, if you give yourself about an hour, hour and a half a day, your XP is going to be going up and up. You're going to be getting about 25 to 30,000 XP per hour. That's going to help you get to the program super, super fast. If you do an hour and a half early, an hour and a half later on in that day, that's going to put you close to that 70,000 XP through the program. You're going to be getting a lot of stuff unlocked packs. You might pull something glitchy out of the packs and that right there is going to add up to a lot of stubs. You can literally sit there and do this over and over and over and in about three and a half, four days, make a half a million stubs, no money spent. Another key thing is you have to keep resetting the season until these first two teams are for you to have home fill, okay? So verse pinheads, verse pinheads, these are the games that you wanna play. If it says at a certain place like this one, these are away games. It might gonna take you two or three times. Sometimes it's going to take you four or five times. You don't want to play the whales and you don't want to play the cats. That's going to make your mission so much longer. But after you finish it, you're just going to restart the season. You're going to see it in the right hand side. X or square reset the season. Now I reset the season. Sometimes you're going to get an error. It don't matter. Push it, go through the air, try to come back in. If you can't come back in, make sure that you shut down the whole console and then reload it and come in again. So right here, we are the away team. That's not what we want. We come back to this screen right here. Go to refresh season, confirm. 
Let it do all the stuff. Sometimes an error is going to pop up. It's going to be something that make you think. And right here, we got a different team when you come back in. That's not the team that you want. And you're just going to keep on refreshing it, restarting it until you are the home team. Now, another method that a lot of people was doing is the road to the show method. But if you have that all the way complete, you can also do March to October. You can play all the way up to right before the all-star break which is coming up soon in real life so as you can see we got an unhandled server exception okay a lot of people are gonna see that and that don't mean anything still go in and you can see versus the singers so when you see them errors pop up don't even worry about them errors still go in and as you can see we are the home team now I can start the process over I can play with my team in my stadium that I want to play in and then you can do the 10 runs, get all the XP, all the stubs, and your pecs every single time. I would like for you to get about 10 to 20 pecs saved up before you open them so you can speed the XP process up. Now, another way for you to do it is March to October. Now, in March to October, if you go to start new, you will want to preload your XP. What I mean by that is you will want to get all the way up to the all-star break. Stop playing right there at the all-star break, even the mini seasons. You want to get all the way until you get right before the playoffs or the championship game. And then as soon as the program drop, you're going to jump in there. You're going to play the next game in your March to October. That's going to preload all that XP into the new program. So once you play through your playoffs, you're going to be preloaded with an easy 45 to 60,000 XP to start it off. Then you jump into the mini seasons. You do the same thing. You're going to be grinding, getting all that XP. That's going to help you unlock all them cards super, super fast for max profit. In that first five hours, the cards will be super, super high. After about four hours to five hours, more people unlock them. The prices slowly go down. So if you want to get them for super, super expensive prices, make sure that you do the preload. OK, now you're going to do March to October. That's another way you have the ball player method, which is on my channel. And I will link it down in the description for a picture and a hitter and that right there is going to help you get 250 to 300,000 XP super super fast in the first 24 to 48 hours plus if you pull something glitchy it's going to help you get another 200 to 500,000 stubs super super fast and you can go out and buy any player that you want Throughout the program, you're gonna be getting free packs, free stubs, and you're gonna be getting these headliner packs through the mini seasons. You can pull Mike Trouts, you can pull live series out of these, or you can pull the headliners, okay? Some of these 93s are only going for 12,000 stubs, but when the next collection comes out, a lot of these cards, 94, 95 overalls, will rise up in price another eight to 10,000 stubs. So if you're able to be patient and save them, they can turn into great, great investments the best xp method the best stub method in mlb the show 22 let's go